If you keep your body with minerals and, and vitamin deficiency for a couple of years, at some point it breaks. When Wonder Woman came to me, she asked me, you know, I am just feeling, I am dragging my body around. What is missing here is not calories, not protein, carbohydrates, and fat. But we often forget to talk about that the real, real superfoods here are things like beef liver. There is this one thing that we usually forget that can make our body feel at its best and we, we usually don't account for because it doesn't change it so much as the, the way that the body looks. Before I, I tell you about this, let me give you a different example. Ima imagine that you uh, rent a car and you go on a road trip. When you rent a car, you want to make sure that the, the, the fuel tank is filled up. It has gasoline, because if it doesn't have gasoline, the, the car just doesn't work. But how many times do you check for the air in the tire, or the air in the radiator? Hello darkness, my old friend. Or the brake fluid. And it turns out that, you know, if you rent the car and go on a trip, but the, the tires are not completely filled with air, you can still take that trip. But the car kind of shakes a bit. You know, it makes some noises. It's a, it's a very uncomfortable experience. You need to, sometimes you need to drag your, your car. And it does, it goes, it, it works for a short trip. If you go on a really long trip that you're driving for weeks in a row, then even if the car has fuel, but it doesn't have air in the tires, at some point it breaks and then it doesn't work anymore. The reason why I tell you that goes back to a situation I had with a client of mine, a, a lady from Brazil that I'll call Wonder Woman. At the time that we started working, her weight was a 66.6 Kilo, so she was probably like an Iron Maiden fan or something like that. This is about 130 pounds. Uh, 160 centimeters, maybe like five, uh, three, something like that. Uh, 53 years old. She wanted to lose weight, but this is not only true if you want to lose weight, it's, it's true for any state that you want your body to get into. And by knowing that, she estimated her, her calories to lose weight. You know that by, with this type of information, you can estimate your basal metabolic rate. If you want to estimate yours, you can just look for a BMR calculator. You put this information there, and it shows you that if you want to lose weight, there's an amount of calories that you should be eating. And for her, it was around 1,400, 1,300 something. And there you go, she, she just made her own meal plan with three meals. She says, I'm, I need to fulfill 1,400 calories. So I am going to have uh, cookies and a, a Java chip frappuccino in the morning, cookies and Java chip frappuccino in the lunch, and the uh, same for dinner. And if I account for those things, it's uh, 1,300 calories. And so it makes sense. And scientifically speaking, it works for weight loss. There's a American professor, for example, at a, um, a university, he was teaching nutrition, and he said, I'm gonna go on an experiment to show his, his uh, students. I'm gonna lose weight, and I'm gonna account for my calories, but everything that I'm gonna eat is Twinkies and candies. And at the end of a couple of months, he did lose weight, because it shows that if your you know, calories are accurate, you lose weight in the process, so you make that the, the, the trip with the car. But it's only bound to be a short trip. It's not something that feels great, and it's not something that you can keep for longer. So yes, you can do this, but should you do this? That's a different question. Because when Wonder Woman came to me, she asked me, you know, I am just feeling, I am dragging my body around. I lost weight having this, this meal but I'm just tired and my body you know, aches here and there and I just like lost motivation for life after a couple of weeks. It's the same situation of a car that has gasoline but doesn't have air in the tire that you need to drag for the trip. What is missing here is not calories, not protein, carbohydrates and fat. What is missing here is what we call micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. To the body, the body needs calories that comes from protein, carbohydrates, and fat to be able to move. It's just like the car that needs gasoline. 
but the body also needs a bunch of other things, vitamins and, and minerals. That is like the air in the tire, the water in the radiator, that if it doesn't have, it can still go, it can still reach on its, its, its destination, but it's shaky, it makes noises, it's very uncomfortable if you need to drag it, and it only works for a short trip. If you keep your body with minerals and, and vitamin deficiency for a couple of years, at some point it breaks. And even if you provide the calories, it doesn't work anymore. So what we did is that we kept, when, once we worked together, we kept more or less the same amount of calories, but the, the meal plan, the meal structure was completely different. This is a representation, it's an oversimplification. But what I wanna show you here is that one, uh, we still kept, kept the cookies because she loved them, but then the Java chip frappuccino, we just turned into a black coffee. And the lunch and dinner, we added protein, vegetables, and some type of, of carbohydrates come from root vegetables, like a starch or sweet potatoes. Then you see that by the end of the day, the calories are the same. But what is different from this new plan here, you can see in this next chart. That is the amount of vitamins and minerals. This is the chart of vitamins and minerals for the Cookies Plus Starbucks. That has all the same amount of calories, but you see this, this uh, little yellow bars here is how much vitamins and minerals they are providing. So that is pretty much empty. With the same amount of calories, just having whole foods, you have all these bars filled. That means that you're providing the air in the tire, the water in the radiator, and then the journey can be longer and feel much better. Where do you get these things from? So this is a little chart that shows the top nutrient density type of foods. There are foods that give you a lot of variety and quantity of vitamins and minerals. What you see here is one, there's a lot of green stuff. Then there are other vegetables with different colors, some white, some orange, some red, and then you have some berries, they have some different uh, flavors. You have some things that you use for spices, like garlic or parsley, for example. And you have some specific type of animal foods here. And by them, I mean liver and fatty fish. So this is salmon, this is sardine, but any type of fatty fish. These are the types of food that not only give you feel for the car, but also gives air in the tire, water in the radiator, you know, for fluid for the brake and all these kind of things. So what you want to do this is to make sure that you have those nutrient dense, dense foods is spread throughout your meals so you can also feel at your best. And one of the things that, that you can do, this is an example here that shows three meals in a traditional Brazilian uh, type of, of, of routine. You have breakfast that could be something like bread and jam with cheese and coffee with milk and sugar. And if you are Brazilian and watching this and you have this for breakfast, let me know, I wanna know. Uh, the second is a very traditional Brazilian uh, lunch that is rice and beans uh, with some chicken and then some vegetables. That is like half a tomato and four slices of a cucumber. That's the vegetable. <laughs> and then you have a traditional dinner that could be maybe pasta with some tomato sauce and maybe some sausages or some ground beef just sprinkled on top. You have here the amount of calories, protein, fats, and carbohydrates that it gives you, around 1,600 calories. But you see that from the nutrients, from the micronutrients, there's a lot of empty bars still. So if you apply a couple of rules to these, to these three meals here. One, you make sure that each meal has at least three different colors or either of either vegetables and or fruit. And you make sure that every three days you have something like liver or fatty fish. You can have the same amount of calories, but a lot more fulfilled in terms of micronutrients. This makes your body feel much better. So what I did here in the first meal is that I added, for example, I transformed that into an oatmeal that has three different types of fruit. It has kiwi, blueberries, and some sunflower seeds. Not a fruit, but it still gives a lot of micronutrients. Some protein here that comes from whey protein in this case. Lunch with beef liver uh, and, and eggs. A way of a source of fat that is maybe a little bit of olive oil. 
three different types of vegetables, three different, different colors. Remember, the colors are important. Uh, broccoli, red bell pepper, and arugula, and some way of, of fiber and carbohydrates that come from lentils. And dinner turned into chicken breast with three different colors of vegetables. Again, beetroot, carrots, and asparagus, and another source of carbohydrates that is sweet potatoes. So applying these little principles here makes the same amount of energy feel much better to your body. One remark that I want to make here is about the, the nutrient-dense animal products. Because when we talk about, you know, superfoods, we're always talking about different types of vegetables, roots, and berries. And we know the, about the colors of vegetables, that they give us different uh, var variety and density of nutrients. But we often forget to talk about that the real, real superfoods here are things like beef liver. If you compare the same amount of calories from beef liver and, and chicken breast, which is already a good, very good source of protein, you see how much more micronutrients uh, the beef liver can provide. So it's a very good idea every three days to have a meal that contains uh, beef liver if you eat animal products. And the same goes for something like sardines or, or fatty fish like salmon. This is the same comparison with the same amount of, of chicken breast. And you see, for example, B12 here and vitamin, vitamin D here, which are common nutritional deficiencies in people, can be provided by this type of animal products. So if you eat animal products, make sure that every three days you can also have some fatty fish. If you don't eat animal products, then your main strategies will be playing with the variety of colors of, of vegetables and fruit. So make sure that uh, there are either three colors of vegetables or fruits or you know, nuts and seeds, a combination of those per meal so that you get the amount, but also the variety of, of nutrients that it needs for your body feels at its best. And especially if you have some nutritional you know, particularities, if you are on a vegan diet or if you are on a low carb diet, they're restricting some types of foods, there are things that you need to pay a special attention to. Good news is that I have made videos before to address specifically the types of foods that you need for these types of diets. I'm gonna leave the link here so you can go there and check them out. In the comment section, I, wanna, I would love to know what are some types of the, the foods that are rich in nutrients that are your favorite? So then we can see what combinations we, we can make. I'll talk to you in the comment section until next week when I see you in the next video. Cheers. Sure. Uh, oh man, things are written in Portuguese here. <laughs> <laughs> It's Casper. <laughs> he got coffee and now he's chilling outside. Good news, ah, uh, good news is that I have, I have, uh,